Hey there guys, welcome to the video. My name is Mishkinder Gill and in this video we're going to be talking about the distance of a point. So we're going to be talking about distance of a point from a line. Right. So, so that is what we're going to be talking about. So let's suppose we have uh, our x axis, y axis here and we have our x axis here. I'm going to keep the diagram pretty big. Now this is a line, you know, uh, which has this point here. Let's suppose call this point, this point is Q. And let's say we call this point at uh, point R. And we have a point, let's say point P here. Uh, the coordinates of point P are, let's say, X1, comma Y1. And uh, that is what we have here. And let's suppose the equation of this line, it's uh, that AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0. So this is the equation of the line, uh, you know, that is the equation, this in another way you can actually write in line, that is ax plus by plus c equal to 0. So what will be this point q? So how will we actually, so I'm just going to keep work a little neat here, like this. So what is this point q? Point q would be the value of x when y is 0. So what is point q? The value of x when y is 0. So what is the value of x when y is 0? So if you substitute y0 in this equation here, so you're going to get a times x plus uh, b times 0 plus c, it's equal to 0. So which means you're going to get the value of x to be equal to negative c by a. So in this, uh, in this, the, val the coordinates of q are nothing but which it's, uh, it's equal to negative c by a comma 0 because the y coordinate is actually 0. Similarly over here, uh, the coordinates of r would be the value of y when x is 0. So if you kind of do the same thing for this again, you're going to get the coordinates of r to be 0, comma. So the c is going to go there, that is negative c divided by this b over here, which is b. So these are the coordinates of point b. And we're actually interested, point r, we're actually interested in finding out this value of distance that is the distance between the shortest distance between a point and a line so let me just do one thing here let me just connect this point like this and let's connect this point like this now what do we have here is we have a, a kind of a triangle you know a triangle pqr so if we want to find the area of the triangle pqr so the area of the triangle pqr would be half into the base the base is nothing but q times r qr this is the base from here all the way till here and the height is equal to pm so the height is equal to pm and we're actually interested in finding out the value of pm so we're interested in finding out the value of pm so that is going to be equal to the area of pqr times 2 because this 2 will go there divided by qr right so the area of PQR times 2 divided by QR. Now let's actually go ahead and find out the area of PQR. So if we have, let's suppose, you know, I'm just going to write down the expression here that we're going to use here. Uh, if we have three points in a triangle, let's suppose x1, y1 and uh, x2, y2 and we have x3, y3, you know, uh, you can actually watch the video of that. How do we derive this? Uh, but I'm just going to use this expression here. The area of a triangle uh, with these expressions is given as, so the area of the triangle is given as, uh, that is actually given as half into the modulus of x1 uh, into uh, y2 minus y1, sorry, uh, y2 minus y3 uh, plus x2 uh, into y1 minus y3 uh, plus x3 into, uh, again, we always uh, kind of take uh, the modulus of this. So x3 into uh, y2 minus y1, right? So we kind of take the modulus values only. So it doesn't matter which we add first or which we subtract first. So the area of PQR will actually be given as half into, so the value of x1, so I'm just going to keep x1 here. So this is x1 times, uh, we're going to have uh, the value, this is x1. So this is going to have 0 here minus c by b. So it's 0 minus c by b or minus of minus c by b, so it's going to be a positive c by b. So that's the first thing. Then we're going to add the next x value, which is negative c by a. This is the next x value, negative c by a, 
into uh, since we've used this x value, we'll use these two y values. So this over here is going to be equal to uh, negative c by b uh, minus y1. So it's negative c by b minus y1. Then again, we're going to add x3. What is the value of x3? Since we've used this, we've used this. Uh, now we'll actually use this one, which is 0 into something. It's going to come out as 0 only. So the area of PQR is actually going to be equal to half. So there is a modulus function here. So this is nothing but x1 times c by b plus this over here. Uh, it's nothing but y1 times uh, y1 times c by a. And uh, this over here is nothing but c square over a into b. So this is actually the area of the uh, of the triangle here you know this the area of this pqr now if we substitute this expression that we've gotten here uh, that is the area of pqr into this equation what are we going to get so we're going to get the value of pm so pm is actually equal to the area of uh, pqr which is this so what is the area of pqr that is half times that is something that we've gotten half times into x1 c by b plus y1 c by a plus c square over a b. So that is the area of this thing here, the area of this pqr times 2 divided by qr. So time 2 divided by qr. Now qr is something that we have to get. So that the value of qr, what is going to be the value of qr? So what are the coordinates of point q? The coordinates of point q are negative c comma a. So coordinates of point q are negative c by a and 0 and the coordinates of point r are 0 and negative c by b. So if you kind of use the distance formula and try to find out the uh, the distance of q and r, so it's going to be uh, x2 minus x1 whole square which is going to be c square by a square plus y1 minus y2 whole square uh, which is going to be c square over b square and the under root of it. Which is going to be, uh, you're going to take c square out of it. So c will actually come out into 1 over a square plus 1 over b square. Again, if you kind of, uh, you know, further scrutinize this. So c into 1 over a square plus b square can actually be written as a square plus b square over a square b square. If you kind of take a square b square as LCM, this is what you'll get. So then you'll get c over a b and it's always going to be positive. So there's going to be modulus at it. Uh, into a under root of a square plus b square. So this is going to be the value of qr. So the modulus of c by a b into under root of a square plus b square, that is actually going to be the value of qr. So it's going to be a uh, modulus of c over a b. So I'm just going to write a b as a b like capital A b into under root of a square plus b square. So that is actually the value of PM. Now we just uh, let's let's just uh, you know kind of use this up. Uh, let's just uh, cut this two by this two, which will actually go like this. Another thing would be uh, one C will actually get eliminated because of this C, right? So that is going to be there. And uh, let's just multiply the whole equation by a times b and divide by a times b. So once we do that, we you know we try to get the value of PM like this. Uh, we'll just put that out here. Uh, this, if you multiply this into AB, this into AB, and this into AB, we're going to get PM to be equal to uh, the modulus of, so if you kind of multiply this into AB, B and B will go, you'll have only A left, so you have A into X1, plus you kind of multiply this into AB, A and A will go, you'll be left with y, B into Y1, plus you multiply this into AB, this and this will get eliminated. You'll have just C here divided by, if you multiply this into AB, so this and this will get eliminated. You're going to have under root A square plus B square, which means uh, this is actually a very, very important expression. That is the distance of a point uh, to any line is actually given by this expression here, where X1 and Y1 are the coordinates of that point. So what is x1 and y1? They are the uh, coordinates of the point. And uh, the equation of the line, it's ax plus by plus c is equal to 0. You know, these a and b's, 
they are just this uh, you know can just write small or big doesn't matter actually so uh, that is actually the equation of this line just write it like this that is ax uh, plus by plus c is equal to zero so you have let's suppose you have any line let's suppose this is a line and you want to find a distance let's suppose uh, you know let's just use an example here let's suppose we want to find the distance between 2 comma 3 the shortest possible distance and this equation that is 3x plus 4y plus 5 is equal to 0 so let's suppose we want to find that now uh, the distance between any two line is actually given as ax1 plus by1 plus c divided by under root a square plus b square something that we've just established right now so that is going to be modulus of a a is nothing but 3 3 into x1 x1 is nothing but 2 uh, plus y b into y1 so b into y1 so that is going to be 4 times 3 uh, plus c c is 5 uh, divided by under root a square plus b square so it's going to be divided by under root 3 square plus 4 square so if you kind of calculate that you'll get the distance uh, from this 2 comma 3 uh, to this line whichever way it is that is this distance you will get so this would be what the video guys I suppose you're understanding this point here guys this would be the web address to explore more about us uh, and uh, this would be the Facebook page uh, to give us your valuable like and if you have any feedback you can always provide us at perfectscourse89 at gmail.com so this would be about the video guys thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one